Hi, and welcome to Code Corner. This is a video series that we do at Mayfield Renewables where we talk about different codes that affect solar and solar plus storage systems. And today we're gonna to focus in on the 2023 National Electrical Code and rapid shutdown changes. So everybody loves rapid shutdown, I know. In 2023, we had a couple really key changes. And so I wanna talk about those, how they affect installations and you know what that's going to mean for for your designs and installations so first off the language in 690.12 so nec 690.12 is where we're looking and the charging statement really didn't change in 2023 but what got added was this exception number two and what you can see here is the exception is saying that for standalone structures, so carports, you know, pergolas, shade structures, what have you, if it's a standalone PV system uh, structure, then they are not; those are not required to comply with 690.12. And so we can take a quick look at a picture here. So we have a lot of different, you know, types of standalone structures. This is also, you know, would apply to ground mount PV systems, which have always been the case. So really, what the code making panel has done here is added some clarity around you know what systems are intended and so previously it always just it says the circuits that are on or in buildings and so there were some jurisdictions where they were looking at that and you know were applying this differently than i think what the code was intending so Really what we have now is really just clarification what the intent of code was. It's, it's spelled out better in terms of these types of systems, carports, shade structures, that kind of stuff. Those were not intended for the rapid shutdown requirements. So get clarification on that, a break if you will, uh, but just better clarification. The other exception that comes along with this it ties, it ties very much into those types of systems. And so they kind of go hand in hand. And so now what we're looking at is 690.12A2. And A, so if you can see here on the screen, 690.12A talks about the controlled conductors. And so requirements for controlled conductors shall apply to the following. And we have you know, which circuits these conductors they apply to. Now we have another exception that gets added in the 2023 language, and that's what I want to really highlight and bring attention to. So circuits originating within or from arrays that are not attached to buildings and terminated on the exterior of buildings uh, and, and PV systems installed with 230.6 shall not be considered controlled conductors for these purposes. So again, what this is saying, the question always came up, it was very, a ground mount system was always the example that people would ask about. I have a ground mount system, I take the DC conductors, I trench underground, and I put my inverter up on the building, and so I'm gonna stub up from my underground run up into my inverter. Do I, am I required to have rapid shutdown? Under 2020 code, under 2020 and previous, kind of the strict interpretation was yes, those, if you had DC conductors on or in buildings, then those were subject to rapid shutdown requirements. So this exception is adding some clarity, adding the, the exception here saying, as long as you keep those circuits outside and everything terminates on the outside, then those circuits are not subject to rapid shutdown requirements. The 230.6 talks about conductors that are run under, um, you know, under uh, slabs and things like that. So it's not saying you have to do that. It's just saying that if they install them that way as well, uh, those would apply. So basically saying that they're outside. Um, so even if you run a circuit underneath the building, there's ways of considering that to be outside the building. And that's what the, the 230.6 reference is all about. So again, with an image, it might be helpful to see this. And so here we have a, an array. Again, it could be a carport, it could be a shade structure, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you have, but we have an, an array that's not on or in a building. We have a conduit run, st um, stubbing that conduit run up into the input of an inverter, the output over to our point of connection. And so what code is, again, this exception, so 690.12A2, the exception, is just saying, you don't have to have rapid shutdown on these conductors. Uh, and so, you know, 
it doesn't give us a distance or anything like that. So you could be running that um, those conductors some some distance on the exterior of the building. But the the language does say you know it's on the exterior of the building. So you can't penetrate into the building, put the inverter on the back side of the wall. That that would then put you into the realm of needing rapid shutdown. And it kind of makes some sense if you think about, you know, we're trying to protect firefighters uh, and this would be a situation where they can easily identify with, you're gonna have to put labeling on your conduit saying that, you know, it's a PV source circuit, all that kind of stuff. So it's easy to identify. And the, again, the idea is that we're keeping them relatively short. And so again, I, code doesn't have a length restriction, um, but you know, that would be one of the things that you would consider when you're doing these installations. So all in all, a couple really good exceptions for PV systems as they relate to rapid shutdown uh, makes things a little bit easier. You don't have to go through in this case anymore of trying to hold that PV array or excuse me, that inverter off of the building. And then all of a sudden you can say it's not on or in a building. Um, so it gets rid of all that rigmarole and allows you to install these in a you know much cleaner fashion and still meet the requirements and the intents of code for the rapid shutdown systems. Okay, so that really is the exceptions in 690.12, those two pretty big changes in 690.12 as it relates to uh, rapid shutdown, how you may or may not need to be applying those uh, based on the installation method of the PV array. If you're looking for more information on rapid shutdown or any really other code topics, we have solar plus storage courses that are available uh, for you, available online. The, all the workshops are on demand and available on our website. So you can visit us at mayfield.energy to find out more about those. Those workshops are also available for NAPSEP credit for those of you that are looking for CEUs in that sense. And then finally, if you have questions or comments around Code Corner, something that we talked about here or a topic that you'd like to see, feel free to reach out, love to hear from you and see if we can incorporate those questions into an, a future version of Code Corner. Thanks for joining.